Six now, we know why. Kentucky Auditor Mike Harmon's office releasing another report today exposing the failures in the Kentucky unemployment system. Focused investigative reporter John Charlton, who's been on the case for a year now, is with the highlights on where the report states significant improvements are now needed. It's volume one of the annual statewide single audit of Kentucky or SWAC report, and it includes a breach which focus brought to the Commonwealth's attention. The auto pay created a lot of the problems. Those problems in Kentucky's unemployment system are highlighted in this 130 page state audit. According to Kentucky Auditor Mike Harmon, the Office of Unemployment Insurance, or OUI, which ironically spells yes in French, essentially said yes to too many claims early on in the pandemic because the office lifted certain mandatory controls on auto pay. Normally you would have a, a situation uh, to where they would uh, confirm uh, employment, they would confirm how much money you were making at other jobs. That leads to another failure underscored in Harmon's summary of the report. We did a sample of 37. His office took 37 full-time state employees who remained employed but lost their part-time jobs, so they went ahead and applied for unemployment. 16 of the 37 that we tested uh, got it when really they shouldn't have. And that included, Harmon says, state payments as well as the weekly $600 federal supplement. That sampling equated to about $116,000 total. Focus continues to receive a flood of emails and phone calls from filers begging for help. The report accuses state unemployment of ignoring hundreds of thousands of emails from claimants, which remained unread until November. It just kind of breaks my heart that 400,000 emails were just archived. Then there was the handling of data breaches, exposing claims and in some cases, personal information. The report highlights that unemployment didn't immediately report the breaches to the proper agencies, including the breach Focus discovered. Is it troubling that a media outlet has to notify the state that there's a second breach? It is somewhat troubling. It is somewhat troubling. We, we still have a lot of work ahead. For Focus, I'm John Charlton.